y'all y'all see this right here y'all see this right here that means that's a good day or a good night good night yes it is a good night at first it was ugly but it turned out good because i went back to play uh my one look you know what give me a minute and i will explain it all to you guys what happened give me a minute Next morning, coming out of Love's, baby. Got me a shower in right quick. It's a little cold out here in Missouri, but uh, it, it, once I get in the truck, I'll get warm. Uh, last night, good night. Good night at the tables. Um, I'm gonna keep you guys in a little bit more suspense because I wanna hurry up and get to my uh, destination before I sit down and actually start conversating with you guys but just to let you know it was still good still good i feel good i feel fresh let's go ahead and head to the truck right quick and make it over to the craft caves I've been keeping you guys waiting uh, to tell you what happened. So, I guess right now, since I got time, I want to tell you what happened. Well, I have made it here to the craft caves here in Springfield, Missouri. Yo, guys, here's what happened, man. So, last night, I shut down at um, a Mary Star up in uh up in missouri casinos is my crutch as you guys know every time i come to a different state different city or something like that i try my best to find a casino so that i can shut down at the casino not only because of the truck parking situation but you know come in here grab something to eat play a couple of games and then bounce I've been there before. Last year, as a matter of fact, it was uh, back up in 2016 uh, since I've been there. So it's been about a year. Here's what happened last night, though, man. Last night, I I go in and uh, I had a hundred with me. I had sixty dollars. I had sixty dollars on reserve and another forty dollars in my play can. So. I had a hundred dollars all together. So I go upstairs, put my name on the on the uh, list for three six. They about to get another, they about to get another three six game started. So we're about to see what I can do. See if I can turn this 40 into 80. That's the goal. If I turn it into 80, I'm good to go and I'm about to leave after that. Now, last time I played three six there, it wasn't with a kill, but this time they had three six with a kill. And if you guys don't know what I mean by three six with a kill, I'm about to break it down to you. It's three dollar blind to call pre-flop, three dollar to call flop, six dollars on the turn, six dollars on the river. All right. Uh, somebody could raise that if they want. They could raise it to six, twelve, you know, so forth and so on. Um, with a kill and a full kill is that. It's six dollars on the blind, six dollars to call pre-flop, six dollars to call flop, twelve dollars to call the turn, and twelve dollars to call the river. It's three six limit. So 
the only time that you can raise if somebody puts in the bet. So like pre-flop, if the three, if nobody calls the three dollar blind and somebody raised the three dollar blind, they can they can raise the three dollar blind to six. Same thing as uh, the flop and the turn. So let's say I let's say I got a good hand or a supposedly good hand. I call twelve. Now the person after me can either raise it or call it. And that's the only way the limit game works. See, limit games is different from no limit game because in no limit game, you can you can raise however you want. It doesn't matter if a person bet or not. The only thing I don't like about this casino is too much smoke. Too much smoke. You probably catch asthma up in this bitch. So last night I was playing three cents with a kill. The first, I'll say maybe the first 15 minutes or so that I was there, I was doing pretty good. I had um, I had some good starting hands, uh, and I I won a few I won a few hands. I was able to uh, come up about an extra sixty dollars, and I started thinking to myself, like. Look, man, my poker game has been shit. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I'm I'm being for real. I mean, my my poker game been shitty. I I've been I've been losing. I've been I've been losing hard against bullshit players. People that's playing a fucking king deuce. What you 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 gonna play a fucking king deuce? Well, I only play a suit. You 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 play a king do suited. The only thing that you the only thing that you could possibly hope for with that hand, if the flop comes a king without an ace or a flush draw, that's about it. You you far away from a straight. You far you you far away from everything with a king with a king deuce in your hand, but. A lot of people play a lot of garbage ass cards. You see what I'm saying? You know, a lot of people, you know, they look at, they look at, you know, poker on TV, you know, by the way these so-called poker pros be playing bullshit ass cards and hitting. But what I'm gonna play, I'm gonna play a queen, I'm gonna play a queen sits also. What you hoping with that? You, you're not gonna get a straight. You're not gonna you you're not gonna get it straight. The only thing that you could possibly hope for if a, a pair of queens. Now if a pair of queens do come on the flop, now you got a pair of queens with a weak kicker. You see what I'm saying? So somebody else probably might have a pair of queens with a jack, king, or ace with a good kicker. You see what I'm saying? And they they play that bullshit. You know, and 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 they get fucking lucky on it. In in limit games, it's a lot of fucking luck. It's not skill. No skill at all with limit games. It's no fold em, hold them. And we're playing every fucking card. You know why they can do that? Because like I said, in limit games, what's four dollars? What's four dollars to call? What's three dollars to call? What's two dollars to call? You see what I'm saying? And you know, everybody call with bullshit cards to see the flop. So when the flop comes, if bullshit comes on the flop, they already they they already got lucky. And I'm saying luck that they that they either hit they hit their card or paired the board or however they did it. Now the only time I play bullshit cards, and this is me, the only time I play bullshit cards is when I'm on the blinds. I'm in the small blind and I'm in the big blind. The big blind is four dollars, which you have to pay automatically. You know what I'm saying? You you already you already in the hand with four dollars. So whatever cards you get, you're gonna have to you 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 eventually gonna have to play them. You don't want to fold it because you already put up your four dollar blind 
The same thing with the small blind, which is $2. So what is $2 to call on a bullshit hand? You see what I'm saying? So those the only two times that you should play bullshit cards. Any other times you you play cards that you that that you think that's gonna do something. High pairs, ace king, anything with an ace. I you know, usually I play anything with an ace. You know what I'm saying? Ace. Uh, ace two, ace three, ace four, ace five, ace six, ace king, ace jack, ace queen. I play anything with an ace because the ace, if you get your ace on the flop, it's the hard, it's the high card. And nine times out of ten, uh, when you bet on that ace, a lot of people behind you is gonna fold unless they got an ace or a draw. <laughs> Still with the smile on my face. But anyway, let me tell you. Let me tell you. A couple of casinos ago. <laughs> get it? A couple of casinos ago. Well, anyway, let me tell you. A couple of casinos ago, I uh, I went to start playing three-card poker. Because, you know, I said I had to change up something because I'm just not getting any luck in the poker room as of late. Last night at a merry start, um, same thing. I had $40. Uh, I had for, well, 45 because I had 25 in my pocket and 20, uh, and 20 and 20 dollars in tip. I mean chips. So their, you know, their uh, their game was five dollars. You know, five dollars a play too. So before, here's the thing though, but before I went over there, the chick that was sitting in seat one hit the jackpot. She had a, she had a, she had a three, you know, a three card royal flush. She had an ace of spades, king of spades, and a queen of spades, $3,000 that night. So she won that plus whatever the pay table paid. She walked out of there with about close to $4,000 last night. So that was pretty good. When you get somebody to hit big, the table's good, all right? You know what I'm saying? Everybody's having a good time. Everybody's, you know, everybody's chatty. The, the, the dealer's chatty. Everybody's good. Everybody's having fun. A couple of hands later, a couple of hands later, I hit my jackpot. Now, it wasn't the progressive jackpot but I hit my jackpot. I hit I hit trip fours. And I knew it was coming because I was getting pairs all night. I was like, I said to myself, I said, man, the trips is coming. I said, it's, it's coming. Should I stay? Should I go? Should I stay? Should I go? And I know it's coming. So as soon as my trips came, it, it doubled. Actually, I doubled up. And I called it the night. So... Last night, at, I mean, last night at three card was a good night for it. There's another, it's another poker variance game that I, that I seen at the, uh, at the casino last night. And, uh, and it's, and that one was called Texas Shootout. That was, now that's a pretty interesting, that's a pretty interesting game. It's Texas Hold'em mitts with blackjack. You know, I called it tonight, but yeah, it was it was a pretty good night at the at the uh, it was a pretty good night at the tables, y'all. So you know, all right. No, guys. what are you waiting for? Do it. Just do it. Yes, you can. Just do it.